I get the feeling we're all trying to be a bit more productive in our lives, whether it's personal or whether it's business, but we're right here on a dual spindle SW machine and I'm with my friend Eileen and we're gonna talk about productivity and how this machine can help you be more productive. We do this a lot, which is important to do because sometimes paying attention to our productivity, we think we've maximized and then we learn something new. So it's always good to pay attention to these videos and go, okay, let me learn something new today, which is what we're gonna do right here, right now for the audience, right? Correct. Yeah, I think starting with a foundation and learning a little, a little bit about the background, why are we productive is a good start. Like the design principle from SW that has the monoblock um, concept that is good for temperature, but also has the Q-axis that we can see here, one side of it, and you ask a lot of times you call it barbecue, I know, because it swivels like a barbecue, you can turn it. Um, so you have a side here for loading and unloading, and you have another side for the machining area. So it saves you time because you can do loading and unloading while machining. Um, you have the monoblock that really has the precision. And then obviously you just said it, it's a twin spindle machine. We have up to four spindles that just increases your productivity right away. And Eileen, I think you've nailed most of the major principles of how to be more productive and how SW can help with that. The speed of these machines are also a bonus because you guys kind of focus on that as well when it comes to twin spindle, the barbecue here. I think it's important to also re-emphasize the fact of loading and unloading while something's being machined on the other side because how much time do we often spend on load and unload time? In fact, when it comes to quick programs, oftentimes a program will be five minutes and the load and unload time will be five minutes as well. So having the ability to do that is important. But can we talk a little bit about the speed of these machines as well, which is important because we're doubling up by having two spindles in there and now we've added the speed, right? Yeah, so we add the speed by having a linear motor. The W in this machine stands for linear drive. A linear drive automatically is magnetic, it has low wear, it is way faster in the box-in-box -box unit that's also in the machine, ensures the position while keeping up the speed and having a high dynamic overall. So when we think about these linear drives, I had a friend tell me one time that they're wicked fast, which I think is a fun statement. But you have to have the software to go with that as well. You can't just have a slow software if everything else is moving quickly. That's correct. You need to be really fast. And our software is a Siemens software that we're using as a foundation. We also can do FANUC if necessary. Um, but we have our own control panel, the C1 panel, which has a touch screen. It's easy for people to use. Uh, even with the touch screen, you don't have a dirt issue. I know that's a lot of times comes becomes a topic for everyone's like, oh, it's going to be dirty. It's really not. It's in production for many years now. Customers use it and love it. And um, it's really intuitive. I'm going to take this one more step and ask you one last question. When it comes to productivity, how many times do we go, well, can I fully automate this as well? Do I need to have a human taking these beautiful parts in and out? And what a cool spiral that is, by the way. But do I need, always need a human to do that? Can I also just kind of adapt the SW robotic systems into this? You can uh, add to all our machines automation. Here we have to scroll this, this squirrely thing. So the scroll is really something that is an up and coming work piece for a lot of customers. And yes, that can be automated. Either um, with here you can do an integrated automation or you can do loading and unloading from above everything from the BA4 size and bigger. Um, whatever makes sense, we really look at the customer's use case, the customer's needs in the production and whatever they're tied on, if it's personnel or space or whatever, and find the best solution. Yeah, very well expressed. And for everyone who's watching right now, if you remember the Double Mint Gum commercials, Twice the pleasure, twice the fun, twice the productivity. Eileen, thank you again. Thank you, you are amazing. <laughs> thank you for sharing this technology. And thank you all for watching. We do appreciate you as well. And hope you continue to learn with MTD CNC.